I had a tinge of sympathy for them because if they are stealing, probably you know they may not have enough to, hmm. to go around, huh? hmm. But when I saw the couple, uh, that that sympathy vanished. Okay guys, I want to know right from you guys like what life lessons or values right that your parents impart to you guys that you will hold dearly to. Actually my, my dad has shared a lot lah. So for, for me I think uh, when he shares stories especially uh, a lot of the stories he shares have uh, learning values. But if I uh, to choose one, it would actually be from my grandmother. Because my grandmother also she, she raised us lah. Mm. So when we were young she would teach us the do's and don'ts, how to be better at certain things, how to be a good person, these kind of things. And one thing that she taught us is never lie. Mm-hmm. So my Atta, she, she was say, don't lie. So when you play poker, you can lie? They are different. They are not lying. They are not lying. They are, they are, not lying. They are playing the game. Bluffs are part of the game. Because like there's white lie, there is certain lie. Yeah, so that is something as you grow older and you get more mature, you realise, okay, sometimes you have to differentiate whether, you know, the lie is a white lie, whether there's some end day benefit to the lie that you're going to say. But I think in general, it's a, it's a good advice. Lah. Mm-hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also something that Jordan Peterson wrote about in his book. So I think in either the 12 rules of life or uh, the subsequent 12 rules, uh, he said you shouldn't lie. Because it will impact other people's opinions of you, right? I feel that something about lying uh, is the moment you start lying, you will start lying more because you need lies to cover lies often you need lies to cover lies and you you will form this habit of like actually you know what i can just lie to get out of this i can just lie to get this and stuff like that yeah and it just it makes you into a not nice person why the fuck you lying why you always lying uh so integrity as a whole uh, mm. yeah so for you guys eh? okay so for me uh, you know that i lost my dad at a uh, quite young age uh, okay so i think that the only thing that the thing that he left me with uh, was to <laughs> <laughs> I want to say no, but that's a bit asshole to say. <laughs> Could be more, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's, I think it's just to be uh, a good, good father, like to bring your kids out. I feel that that is super important. It might not be like okay, like a life life lesson, but to me, like, that's what I learned from him. You you might be a not the perfect kind of person. You might not be a very good person, but you have to try your best to be a good father. Because whatever you, you portray, whatever you say, whatever you, you, you give out, right, okay, your kids will all absorb. Mm. And then, you know, they will grow up to uh, have certain bad habits. Uh, if but you shouldn't it good. be to like everything, not just as, as a father, you should just be a good person. Yeah, but because that general. is what i seen from my father. I think like, what he's saying is you can be how you are as a person, right? Mm. Sometimes it's difficult to change. Mm. But when you have a kid, it is your responsibility to raise a kid well. Mm. And yeah, to raise a kid well is to be a good father. Like. Yeah. Mm. So that's for my father. For my mom, okay, so my mom is not uh, very good in like uh, expressing her lessons and everything. Okay, so technically, right, okay, my mom is my best friend. Uh, so because I see my same room with her up until today. So all the big stuff and small stuff I know. And I know how she thinks, her thought process and her actions. Uh. So over the years, I feel that her, her actions have taught me. Uh, I'll say two things. So very simple, but I feel it goes a long way. Which is, uh, be kind and have a good heart. Yeah, because I feel that you can do whatever fuck shit in the world. Uh, okay, okay, you can you can be pretty, you can do all the good stuff and stuff. Uh, but at the end of the day, if your heart is not good, I feel that uh, it discredits a lot of things. Just, oh, your mom never teach him this. Huh? <laughs> you need to come my house more often to play mahjong. No, 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 it's not an issue. Yeah. If money can solve, it's not a problem. Like you can, because last time, I remember like my house, unless it's a billion bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 Because like, I see like a lot of like couples, they argue because of money, like marital, mm-hmm. marital issue because of money, right? But I grew up without money, so I know how, are you able to like, you know, remain happy, you can have like the simpler stuff, right? Mm-hmm. With very little money, oh. so if the the issue is money, right? Then there is actually no there is right? actually a bigger issue out there, mm. That's true. Okay, the reason why I ask you guys this question, right, is because there is a mini mart in Yishun. Yishun again. Yeah, Yishun. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's always Yishun. I wonder why. 
<laughs> yeah, they put up a poster, right, that shames the couple for stealing groceries from their mini mart when their child is around. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. That means they go as a family and the parents still yeah. think. The parents still. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna show you guys the poster. Lah. Mm-hmm. Here is the poster. Alama. Kindly refrain from bringing your child along when you're stealing groceries. We do not wish to see your child learn the wrong things growing up. And yeah, so please do not be like the couple in this photo below. Lah. Right. And then they also say, if you li- would like this po- poster to be removed, right, do contact us. Yeah. And then you see, actually, the kid very young. Yeah. Mm. I think cool, eh? I think this one is a, is a good poster eh? because it feels. It's not that they are angry that they are stealing, but it's more of like, if you want to steal. Okay, although it's not good, but then they are, the intention of that poster is. Towards the kids and not the parents stealing anything. But actually, right, yeah, when uh the parents bring the kid there, high chance when they see this poster, they come before that one. Oh, yeah, doing it in front yeah of you are doing it in front of your kid. What value you already have? Nothing. Mm. So if then they see this this poster, so they probably not gonna do anything much. No, no they won't patronize the place anymore. Yeah, yeah. they will not patronize. patronize. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when you said that, right, I actually even though I you are saying that the couple stole from the mini mart. I had a tinge of sympathy for them because if they are stealing, probably you know they may not have enough to, mm. to go around, huh? mm. But when I saw the couple, lah, uh, that that sympathy vanished. Uh, based on the pictures, lah. Can I? Okay, I I share with you how how they actually steal the stuff. They okay. The one time, right, they took a uh, detergent and then they threw it outside the grass patch. Then. <laughs> so after that, then they go buy a loaf of bread, a cup noodle. I forget already. Ah, a cup noodle, and then they they left, lah. So after that. They come back and take the deter- detergent that's left on the grass. Oh, so okay. So from, from the mud, they threw out and then they went out and they picked it up and yeah. go. And then they will, they will target that place, right? They will go there to steal at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the day. Hmm. Nobody there. Maybe and only one, one person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, talking about what you said just now, right? Like you feel uh, some sympathy, right? Um, the minima actually s- uh, said up to the news that they posted this, right? They said that Whatever the couple that is stealing, right, is actually a um, basic necessity. So okay. they are open to discuss any arrangement with the couples like, if they step forward. But then uh, what uh, does the minimart sell? They uh, sell uh, necessity, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, things, you know, yeah, so you know, they can steal that, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, correct. I mean, yeah, I can say that, you know, he steals detergent. So detergent is a necessity la, for, for to wash. But then, you know, like... What other things can you yeah, steal? Yeah, what, what other things can you steal? I feel that like this mud is coming from a good place. Uh. Yeah. Definitely. No, the thing mm. is, you have been wrong. Somebody come and steal from you. Yeah. So, you are definitely not happy. Yeah. But the way they are doing things is very kind. Mm. It's a very kind approach to it. Mm. Okay, I don't come from a rich family, but actually I'm pretty blessed. Like, I'll share you guys the story of my, about this uncle that helped me. Right? He, he told this mini mud that Oh, yeah, we can yeah. take whatever we want for the month, right? And then at the end of the month, you'll come and pay. So when are you going to bring forward to the the help to others? That's the thing, oh. Uh, no, no, no. But yeah, 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 yeah. help will be, you throw, I help you take it. No, 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 Joseph, uh, basket. I say that healthy, no. Why here got a six-pack of condom? <laughs> you know, that was $60, dollars, right? <laughs> You should you should be proud of me for practicing safe mm, sex. That's true, but spending your uncle's money that's the main point. <laughs> so this is my last question to you guys, okay? So I know that you guys shared with me what your parents or like your relative have passed down to you, right? The values that they pass down to you. But if you guys were parents, what values right do you want to pass down to your kids? Mm, that's actually a good question. Okay, so one right of it is I think we, we talked about it before is to is to be resilient, no? Like there there there's gonna be tough shit in life and stuff like that. But whatever it is, you need to just bite the bullet and keep going. And the second one is to pass on what, what I learned from my mom, la, okay? And modify a bit is to have a good heart, okay? But don't be stupid. Yeah. So, I, so your mom's one is can uh, be stupid. Uh, <laughs> Really, 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 because what I learned uh, is like sometimes she have a good heart to the point where you know like people, people take advantage over, over, over yeah. head and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like you can have a good heart, but don't for me, right? Hey. For me, I think it's about the well being of uh my child. So I probably will not just like impart like this value, that value, like that. It's overall at that point of time, what does he need? Because you know, every every child they have a different stages, right, mm. in life. So at this stage, maybe he needs this story. This this value at that age he needs this value but yeah so yeah, but what is maybe 
one thing that you must and you want your kid to to you know I I want my kid to be able to understand something that is wider and bigger rather than just okay See the big picture yeah, yeah correct rather than just okay you Some must be re- respectable to the that uh, one I think we'll have it covered la. don't worry about it don't worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it sweetheart I think if I were to choose one I we we had a chat before about this and yeah being resilient is very important. Because even from a young age, if you can inculcate this value, this kid will go on in life to attain everything he can attain. Mm. Mm. So that's that's priority number one. Um, my part as a parent, right? I feel I need to make my child a likable person and somebody that other kids will want to play with by the time he reaches the age of four. Mm. So studies have been done about this. If you can do that as a parent your job is more or less done. Mm. Because if the kid is a likable kid, other kids want to play with him at that age, he will himself mm. gain the values and through social learning, uh, the strength. He, will, he will learn the things and all yeah. that will propel him in life. Uh. Mm. Yeah, but this one, the godfather got it covered. Uh, the father, <laughs> 10 years later. The godfather has then, to learn from him. 